Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, this is Vlogmas Day 12. So this is 12 days of Christmas, I guess, coming up here. We miss Christmas is uh coming up this weekend. So y'all ought to be hot and heavy because the next three videos are all the meat. It's all protein. We're going to do ham today. Tomorrow is going to be duck and cornbread dressing. And the day after that, I'm going to do my standing rib rolls, quote, a.k.a. Prime ribeye, bone-in ribeye. So that's gonna be the next three videos. We're gonna get deep into this uh, Christmas dinner menu favorites because these are three items that you must have, most people have for Christmas. The ham, duck, and uh, prime rib. That's my three favorites, I don't know about y'all. But anyway, we're gonna get into this video here. Like I said, this vlog, I'm gonna got a video every day this month beside the first week, but y'all should know that by now if y'all been following me long enough. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I got a bone-in ham here. I like this type of ham. There's a bone in it, it's a half a cup butt ham. This is what I like to use. I'm gonna honey glaze this with a nice uh, light glaze. I'm gonna glaze it every 15, 20 minutes in the stove. So I'm gonna tell y'all later on how I'm gonna do this. But the thing about this, to make sure the glaze penetrates this ham, I need to trim all this stuff off the outside. Because if I try to glaze this ham, it's not going to penetrate. You're not going to get the full flavor of the ham. So what I'm going to do, I want to kind of trim this apart, this little thing, to trim the uh, the uh, outside off it. Because it's, it's a rough edge of the ham. It's a rough, this actual part of the pig, it's rough area. Nothing's going to really penetrate this. So I want to cut that off. After I cut it off, I'm going to score it. That's a fancy way of putting slits in it. That's all scoring is. After I score it, I'm going to put some cloves in it and some nice pineapple and cherries in it. Make it really look really, really festive. Then we're going to put a little glaze on it. We're going to put it in the oven. I'm going to show y'all how to make the glaze. Very simple, very easy. First thing I'm going to do, like I said, I'm gonna, I ain't going to show you the whole video how I'm going to do this. But all I'm going to do, I'm going to just go thin like this. You don't want to cut too much off because you don't ruin your ham. Matter of fact, let me take it off this rack. I don't want it sitting on the rack. I just got it on here. So that's how I'm going to cook it. I'm going to put it on this cutting board here. Move this all out the way. I'm going to give y'all an idea what I'm going to do here. I'm just going as thin as I can with a nice sharp knife and cut some of this rough part off. Of course, you can't get help to get all of it off. But I'm going to get as much as that rough out of the layer of skin off of that. See that? And I'm gonna show you the fat part too. Same part with the fat part. I want to get that fat exposed. See that? See that? I'm gonna get all that exposed. And of course, and like I say, it don't have to be perfect, y'all, but you want to get as much of it out as you can so when you do the glaze, it will penetrate this meat. See this one here? Look at that. All this off of that. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to step away. And I'm going to finish doing this, getting all that outer layer uh, ham off, uh, outer layer skin off of that. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what the next step is. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I am back here. Okay, now, now, what, now, this is the next step here. I got all the skin off of that, y'all. You see that? Now, all I'm going to do now, I'm going to score this. And all scoring is, y'all, I'm just going to make some slits in this thing. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go down. Go down like this. Nothing. I like to go down like a, maybe a half a inch across. And then go back on the other way. That's like that. I'm going to make some splits in, slits in here. That way, the cherries and uh not cherries. And so the glaze, I'm taking cherry. I got cherries in front of me and that's what I'm thinking about. It. So the glaze can penetrate, move this out the way, can penetrate the skin of the ham. This one right here. Make sure you got a sharp knife for this, y'all. Put it around like this. Put it around here like this. Got that bone right here on this side. It's gonna kind of try to get in your way. Now you want to cut. 
cut too deep, y'all. But you do want to have it where you got it. You want to cut in about a half an inch inside the ham, y'all. Because like I said, you want that, that glaze to penetrate this meat very good. I got it here. Let me see here. Okay, now I got that done. Y'all see that? Are y'all with me? Or did I lose somebody? Somebody sleeping? I bet you they are. I know people. Some people be sleeping when they do see my videos. Okay, now I'm gonna show y'all a few of what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna go off camera and do the rest of this because it's gonna get really boring right here. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put clothes in there. Go right here. Put clothes all over this ham. It's time consuming, y'all, but it makes the ham look so much nicer. Hold on, let me do it. Hold on, let me get a little, little bowl here. My clothes in the bowl there. Eh? to work better. It's gonna go just like this. All right, come in. A little clothes in there to give it some, some nice flavor there. And I'm gonna go all over this ham that's in the fat part here. I mean, there's no law in how you do this. You just want to get the clothes all in there nicely. I right, went down in there. Now, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the other one. The, uh, the pineapple, if I got the clothes, I'm going to put pineapple and uh, cherries in here too. Well, I got a toothpick here. And I use the pineapple, what they call them, tidbits. I don't use the rings. The reason I don't use the rings, y'all, is because if you use the rings, it, you can't really glaze this ham like you want to if you use the rings. So I like to use it like this. That's how I like to do mine. Use the tidbits. Put the pineapple there. Cherry on top. And everything the cherry on top, right? Look at that. See that? Show you one more here, just in case y'all ain't paying attention. Cherry here. And I go on the side of the cherry. You don't see how the cherry is facing like this? You don't put it in the hole of the cherry, you put it on the side. Pineapple, I put it on the side, it's like that. See that, in the hard part? Then the cherry on the side. Don't put it in the hole because then it's gonna fall off. And also, I like to rinse my cherries off before I use them. That way, it's not a lot of red glam down your ham. Because I like my ham to be golden brown delicious, y'all. Let me do one more here. Give y'all an idea, and I'll step away. We'll knock this out here off camera. Go all over the ham. It's easier than doing the clothes, y'all. But you got to do the clothes first, because this is going to kind of hinder you putting the clothes in there you put this first like that all the way around it so anyway we'll be right back once they get all this on here and then we'll go to the next step we'll be right back okay y'all we are back and look at this here this is where you're gonna present the ham but oh i'm gonna take it to another level y'all this is only the beginning so you got the skin off let's reiterate what we did we took the skin off the very thin skin off the ham then we put the cloves in there. I put my uh, pineapple and cherries on there with a little toothpick. And now we're going to make the glaze for this. You got to have a glaze for this now that we're going to glaze throughout the cooking process. So let me move y'all over here. All righty, to the pot. And uh, it's going to be a very, very Simple glaze, y'all. All this is, I'm gonna put some brown sugar in here. And remember that pineapple juice that I had left over from the that I drained from the can of the from the can of pineapple. I'm gonna put that in there. And the whisk, whisk here. Here, y'all. We're gonna bring this to a little boil. We're gonna add some more stuff in here. I got some cinnamon and nutmeg. Gotta have that, that uh, nice cinnamon nutmeg. Can't have ham, can't have Thanksgiving, can't have Christmas. Got a little cinnamon and nutmeg. Get that mixed up in there. All right. 
Now, I got a little mustard here. I don't want that nice little yellowy color. So we're gonna put a little mustard in here. That's gonna give us a little tang. Plus it's gonna give us a little, let me get all this mustard out of here, y'all. Get all this stuff out of here. My buddy Daddy Jack say, waste not, have not, won't not. Okay. All right, let's get this to boil in here. Now we're gonna bring this up to a boil uh, for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna add a little apple juice at the end. I don't wanna add the apple juice right now because I don't want it too thin. The apple juice I'm gonna use, not apple juice, apple cider vinegar to thin it out just a little. But I'm gonna have a little tang to it at the end. So I'm gonna let this reduce for about five minutes. Gonna, you know, let it come to a boil, boil for like five, six minutes. And that's all the reduction you're gonna need. And then we're gonna ladle, slowly ladle it, ladle it over the ham, little by little in steps. And uh, it's gonna come out a nice caramelized glaze on this ham. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. So we'll be right back in about five minutes. Okay, y'all, we back here. And see how that's coming, kind of come to the top. I'm gonna put a little apple cider vinegar in here, just a little, y'all. That's gonna give it that little tang that I'm looking for. Let me taste it just to make sure. Little apple cider vinegar, just a little. Oh yeah, it's perfect. It just balances it off. It's all about flavor. So you got the sweetness from the brown sugar, sweetness, kind of sweetness from the pineapple juice that I put in there, which is natural sweetness. Then you got the uh, aromatics, which is the cinnamon and nutmeg, and that little tang from the mustard and the uh, Apple cider vinegar just puts it over the top. So now, let's move you back over here. Let me cut this off and show y'all what I'm supposed to do. We're supposed to bring this goodness together here. Okay, all I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm not gonna pour all this on here because I'm gonna use some for basing. I'm gonna take a little ladle. And I'm gonna slowly ladle that on top of that, just like that. Just like that. Because I want all that to penetrate this ham, and I don't want to pour it all at one time. We're going to do it. It's going to be a little process, y'all. It's going to be all this a process here. That's why we scored it. All that can go inside the, the ham. I think I do initially half of this in the first, when I first put it in the oven, and then I'm going to take a, br a br brush, not a ladle, and brush it all over. A little bit more. Now, we're gonna put this in the oven. We're gonna cook this for an hour, y'all, 350 degrees. But we, every 15 minutes, we're gonna base this thing. Every 15 minutes, we're gonna base it. So I'm gonna be back after the first base and show y'all how it is, and we'll go from there. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, this is the first base, y'all. It's been in the oven only 15 minutes, maybe a little 20 minutes. Now, this is what I do. I take my brush, y'all. And I'm just going to base this thing. See this? You have to do this, y'all. You have to keep an eye on it every 15 minutes. Take it out and base it. Turn it around here. This side. Because if you do, you're going to have it. You'll see at the end an awesome glaze, honey glaze ham. Turn it around here. See that? You can get all in them crevices. This on this side here. Okay, now I'm going to put it back in the oven. Put the bowl right here. 15 minutes, take it out. So we're going to do this four times because we're only cooking this ham for one hour. Because this ham is already cooked. All we're doing is bringing it internal temperature up so we can enjoy it. This ham is fully cooked already. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back. I'm going to come back on with the final base. So I'll base it two more times in the fourth base. I'll come back and show y'all the final base. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back for the final base. Y'all look at that. See how nice and caramelized those, those cherries are, those nice caramelized uh, pineapple. Got a little glaze left in here. And we definitely fit to do the final this one I just poured over here like this, y'all. Look at that. Just let nature take its course on this. See that? Look at that. 
I'm telling y'all, if you take the time, take the patience and the time, y'all, to really, really glaze it and baste it and I'm telling you, you're going to impress your neighbors, friends, relatives, whoever you have over at your Christmas party function. So put this back in the oven, another 15 minutes. We're going to come back. I'm going to have it on the platter, and we're going to taste this thing. Remember that old school chutney I made? We're going to eat it with my chutney. Amazing, beautiful honey glaze, old school honey glaze ham. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. I am here with the final product. Let me show y'all here. Look at this. Look how pretty that is. Put it right up to the camera. See that? See how nice that is? You put this on your Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, Christmas table, present it like this, people will be in awe. They'll think you worked all day long on it. And really, all it took was an hour. The longest part, really, is putting the, the, uh, the uh, pineapples and the cloves in it. And you see how you got that nice caramelization, which I love on them pineapples. That just brings out the more of the sweetness of the pineapple. That's why I don't like using the rings. I like using the tidbits as you see them in the can. Because I can glaze inside, see them crevices and stuff when I scored the ham. That's why it was important that you score the ham. You slice it and score it. Because if you don't, none of the nice glaze gets inside the ham. It just slides right off. So that's another important step. So we're going to carve this a piece of this off. Yeah, I know I love the fat part. Let me find the fat part on here. Let's take a couple of these off of here. And y'all know I got my chutney. Man, these pineapples are so good. I definitely like this on my plate. Take this off. Make sure y'all get all them toothpicks out of there. Okay, oh yeah, I got the fat side, I think. You see that chutney there that I made the other day? I'm just going to slice this real thin. Look at that. Look how juicy that ham is. So we can get some of them uh, Let me get them cloves out of there. I definitely don't want to eat the cloves. Even though know, it's a natural numbener. It numbs you. You got a toothache? Put some clove back down on the clove. It will numb the pain, y'all. Trying to find the fat side, y'all. You know, I like that fat part of this thing. Man, this thing is already so tender. So, so tender. Okay. Put me a little chutney on to get rid of this. The chutney down on the side. And that chutney glaze is so good, y'all, I'm telling you. Okay, let me give me a knife and fork. Knife and fork here. Gonna be classy. Man, this thing is so tender. Like I told y'all, the uh, mm, 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 the uh, ham is already cooked. Mm. Mm. What's so good too? No. The pineapple, coming out pineapple. Mm. That's good in itself. Another piece of ham. Mm. I'm telling you, with this with this chutney. Mm. Oh my God, yeah. Just don't know. I love ham, y'all. We got so many flavors working right here. We got the sweetness and that saltiness of the ham. Mm. It's such a balance of flavor. It makes a whole meal or the whole eating experience amazing. I'm telling y'all. I'm looking for that fat part. I'm gonna find it later here. Mm, like that. Mm, mm. Oh my god.
Ain't no wrong, y'all. Not no wrong. <clears throat> Another thing you can do, <clears throat> and I love this, I love the pineapple corn. I'm not a cherry fan. It has a good flavor. I'm not a good maraschino cherry fan, but mm. let me close the video out. I'm telling you, it's nothing like a fresh honey glazed ham. Cook yourself. Especially with this chutney. I have the apples and pears. Mm. Awesome eating experience, y'all. Awesome eating experience. But let me close this video. I'll be eating here all night. So if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021. Help somebody old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. And Vlogmas Day 12 is in the books. Vlogmas Day 12 is done.